Hey guys, Jeremy here. Uh, today I'm going ahead and pre-making all my breakfast for the first trip of the year. So in about a week, I'm leaving to go to Colorado for a second season mule deer hunt. And so I like to go ahead and pre-make all my breakfast. Um, and what I'll do once I make them all, I'll have them in like a sandwich bag or I may even go ahead and vacuum so them that way uh, each day is, is there in its own little bag and, and ready to go. So. This breakfast here, I mean, it's an oatmeal mixture. Um, there's several different things that are gonna go into it, but um, really it's not that big of a change for me because uh, even when I'm at home, I'm, I'm, a lot of times I'm eating some type of oatmeal uh, fruit mixture. So, um, but as you'll see, it's, it's pretty calorie dense. Um, you're looking at five, 600 calories, uh, which is good for me. I like to go ahead and have those calories in the morning. Um, and also I like to go ahead and eat at camp. I don't want to have to worry about breakfast once I get up to the, where I, wherever I'm going to glass from uh, that morning. Um, so like I said, five or 600 calories. And what we've got in, we've got a half a cup of instant oats, one scoop of peanut butter protein powder. Um, I, I like to put craisins, really like craisins. Some unsweetened coconut and some freeze-dried strawberries, freeze-dried apples, and some chia seeds. Now, you can put whatever you want in this. This is just personally kind of some of the things that I like. Um, so, most of the times when I'm out there, I'm obviously gonna have my cook system, but I'm also gonna have some type of, obviously I'm gonna have this big bowl in it, um, or this pot, but I'm gonna have some other type of bowl that I can eat out of. Um, that way I can just use um, this jet bowl here for boiling my water. Um, so we'll go ahead and put this together, kind of show you how much goes into it, kind of what it looks like at the end. So I'm going to start with half a cup of oats and one scoop of around about peanut butter protein powder. Maybe they have to do a half scoop, but it's a little much. But um, there's really no set amounts on these. The fruit part of it, it just kind of adds the taste. Um, you know, some craisins. Oh, and I also forgot the macadamia nuts. I like mac macadamia nuts; they're pretty high in fat, so um, I like those. Coconut, strawberry. And I can eat this every day and not get tired of it. So I'm used to eating um, some kind of oatmeal anyway. Um, so I really, really, I enjoy this and I look forward to eating it uh, every morning. Like a nuts, just a little sprinkle there. Um, and then I do about two or so tablespoons of the chia seeds. And that's pretty much it. Um, and in here I've got about a cup and a half of boiling water. Um, you just kind of play around with it, you know, just enough to get it going, rehydrate everything. Um, Again, I do the instant oats just because they're going to cook a lot quicker. So, mix all that up. Make sure everything gets incorporated well. Um, so I kind of got this this uh, idea uh, from Ryan Lampers. He calls it his mountain mush. You know, call it what you want. It's just, it's just an old oatmeal mixture. Uh, but to me, it's it's very filling, and you know you can make, even mix the flavors of it. You know, if you get tired of certain flavors, you know you can eat, you can mix it up to where you know you're not constantly eating the same thing. But personally, it doesn't really bother me. Um, but like I said, I'm leaving in a week to go to Colorado on a second season uh, mule deer hunt, and. Super excited about it. Got a good group of people going and uh, really can't wait to hit the road. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of what else I've got going on. 
um, coming up. I drew a late season um, bull elk tag in Arizona that I'm very excited about. And um, I'm actually going solo on that one. So really excited about that. And um, you know, it's it's a like I say, it's Arizona, so I mean, you got to be excited about it. I mean, it, to me, any unit in Arizona is good, and um, super, super excited. Like I said, it's it's not necessarily known for like a great late hunt, but you know, it's Arizona. You never know what could what you could turn up. So, um, as far as that hunt goes, um, before that comes up, I'm going to be going out there with my dad two weeks before the hunt, actually going to do some scouting. Um, I think that's really going to pay off. We're going to go out there and really get a sense of, you know, what the roads look like, which ones are going to be open, which ones are going to be closed. Um, you know, do a lot of glass, and we don't. I don't want to get just too crazy and, and bust in there, but I, I want to glass, see what I can see from afar. Uh, hopefully, find some elk. Um, but yeah, that's what I've got coming up. Um, and like I said, I'm super excited about it, and um, you know. Planning on doing a good bit of uh, filming uh, this year. Both of these hunts, I'm gonna try and do kind of a day by day series. Um, you know, so some days there may not be a single thing going on. You may see me walking around with a rifle, and that's it. But hopefully, there's gonna be some elk and some deer, and um, if nothing else, uh, it, it's for sure gonna be. A couple great adventures, so I'm super excited about it. Um, as far as this breakfast goes, um, you know, it's a great breakfast. It really and truly is, and super easy. Um, I don't like to eat like a mountain house breakfast. I love mountain house biscuits and gravy, but it's one of, I mean, it's the best. Period. That's just all there is to it. But uh, I don't like to eat that in the morning because it sits a little bit too heavy on my stomach. So. I mean, I'll save that for if I've got several hours at lunch, you know, middle of the day, where we're not doing anything, I'll eat that then. But I just can't, I can't eat that in the morning. So this right here is my go-to breakfast. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys like it.